Alternator Man here. I want to talk to you about the big three wiring upgrade uh, and how this all works. Automotive alternators make AC current. This is an AC sine wave. Basically it goes through the center, goes in negative, goes positive. It's an alternating current. It alternates up and down and this is a bridge rectifier. What the bridge rectifier does is converts this AC current to DC current. It virtually does it by basically wiping out the center line all the way through. This is what the bridge rectifier does. It basically separates the two components of the AC current where you have positive no longer moving through the negative so you end up with positive, positive going out through this positive portion of the bridge rectifier you end up negative, negative, negative going out through the base of the bridge rectifier minus here, plus here. Here's how it goes and you have your bridge rectifier and you have your positive portion here, the part where the battery goes through and you have your negative portion and the negative portion of this bridge rectifier gets bolted right into the rear case like that. The positive part where the battery post comes out here, the negative gets bolted right into the rear case. So the back of your alternator, the whole back of the alternator becomes your negative power. This is the part that people don't understand that alternators manufacture both positive power and negative power. The negative power comes right out to the rear case of the alternator. The positive power comes out through the battery, battery wire in the back of the alternator. So when you're doing your big three upgrade, not only are you increasing your ground to your frame, increasing your ground to your motor, but you also increase the positive wire. And so what people should do is add one to the big three upgrade and run a grounding wire right from the back of the alternator where the negative portion of the bridge rectifier dumps the negative power into the housing. Run a grounding wire from here right over to either the negative post on your battery or where the negative post connects to the motor. Uh, clean that off, jump it right over there. The reason I say you do that is because alternators, the grounding, and here's a big dual rectifier alternator. So this dual rectifier dumps this ground right into this rear case and if you put a bolt into here or to here and you run it over your ground, if you don't do that, what happens is that ne negative energy, the positive energy comes out through the battery post and goes, you have a big two gauge cable or double odd or whatever running over to your positive post on your battery, but then the negative has to go through the through bolts into the front housing, through the front housing bracket, through all kinds of motor parts, and then finally make its way to the ground cable to get up to the battery. Now, as I've said before, electricity wants to travel at the speed of light, 186,000 miles per second. And there's a lot of factors that keep power from running at 186,000 miles an hour. The temperature, the conduit that the wire is in, the type of copper, the quality of it, all make a difference in slowing that power down. A bad ground will also slow that power down. So that's why you want to make sure you have absolutely the po best possible ground when you're doing your big three upgrade. Turn it into a big four upgrade and run a grounding wire from the back of your altair over to your battery or to and take your ground cables off or jump it from the back here right all over those cables. Uh, you'll eliminate all kinds of trouble. I have all kinds of people. I get all kinds of calls from people and they don't understand the grounding issue. They think their ground is your battery. Your battery is strictly a storage device. Your battery does not make any electricity at all. It just stores the positive power and it stores the negative power that is created inside of the alternator. Your alternator is creating that positive and negative energy to be stored in the battery. And your job is to get that positive power and negative power out of this alternator as quickly as possible and over to your battery. Remember that power is trying to run at 186,000 miles per second and everything that's done to it, the resistance to the ground through all your connections, slows that power down. When it slows the power down, it ends up dissipating that power out through the case in the form of heat. So if you're getting your alternator overheating and such, it means that the pathway from the alternator to your battery is not good enough. So when you do you do your big three upgrade, 
turn it into a big four upgrade and run a ground wire from the back of the Altair over to your battery, you'll eliminate all kinds of trouble in the future.